State Senator Leroy Garcia and Representative Denea Escar speaking out today about the latest session of the Colorado State Legislature. The session ended this week and many important bills were discussed over the six month period. Cardio News Channel 13's Sean Rice is live with more information on the bills that affected the Pueblo, Pueblo County that is. Sean. Bart, Heather, this afternoon I spoke with Senator Garcia and Representative Esgar about the bills that specifically benefit the city of Pueblo. We just finished this uh, week uh, our Colorado General Assembly's uh, legislative session, but a lot of great wins for Pueblo and Southern Colorado. Leroy Garcia, Colorado State Senator for Pueblo County, has been at work for the last six months arguing bills that may affect Pueblo County. In the lines of like ag support loans, $30 million, $5 million for the Colorado State Fair, further investment in infrastructure at the Colorado Mental Health Institute, a lot of improvements for roads and infrastructure. And also, uh, I'm really proud of the, the uh, transportation bill which passed, which also had key provisions to continue to expand the Southwest Chief Rail Line. At a federal level, $80 million are being allocated to rail improvements as a part of the state's transportation bill. Funding is vital to build a frontline railroad between Pueblo and Cheyenne, Wyoming. So a lot of county commissioners and others are talking about how they're going to look to that ballot initiative uh, to create funding and opportunity to, to bring a frontline rail uh, project to fruition. Colorado was given $800 million in COVID-19 stimulus relief. Pueblo State Representative Denea Esgar says much of which were spent on a number of different bills that were debated on over the legislative session. We passed a lot of state stimulus dollars that went directly to workforce to make sure that people who are either out of work or underpaid have a way to really move forward and earn new skills and earn new training. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll have more information about the Comanche Power Plant bill that has already been unanimously rejected by the city of Pueblo. We'll also tell you what Representative Esgar says about that bill. For now, reporting in Pueblo, Sean Rice, KRDO News Channel.